Before I do my investigation, I'm wondering why I have to wear these strange shoes. One grips, and the other slips. The grippy rubber shoe enables me to slide on the slippy Teflon shoe. Actually, I think I know now. Kirsty Hay is a champion curler. The main idea is to try and land the stone in the middle of the target. Hiya, Kirsty. Hi. Now, I'm here to investigate how friction can help and hinder you. Well, you've seen the shoes. And to grip and to push off, I need the high friction rubber shoe. But to slide and to deliver the stone, I need the low friction Teflon shoe. Anything else? Because obviously the ice is slippery, so that must be good. Well, actually, it's not slippery enough, and we have to pebble it. Paul? Pebbling is when we put water drops onto the ice. It instantly freezes and you get a bobbly surface. But surely pebbling makes the ice rougher, not smoother. In fact, it feels rough. Isn't that just going to slow the stone down? I'll bet you that's faster. OK. Kirsty is throwing two stones with exactly the same force. The blue stone on the right is on flat ice, the yellow one is on pebbled. The yellow stone soon gets ahead. What's going on? On smooth ice, two flat surfaces rub together. More contact, more friction. On pebbled ice, the stone only touches the ice on top of the peaks. Less contact, less friction, more speed. The winner!